Hey guys, Joe with Orlando Home Finders, and today I'm in Harmony. I'm showcasing a beautiful lifestyle gated golf community. This is a 55 plus community. The home that I'm showcasing is a beautiful one story home, but you also have the option to do a second floor loft. So that's an option for you. The main home is three bedrooms, two baths, and a two car garage. One story, just under 1900 square feet at 1850. And then you have the option to add that loft and that will be an additional approximately 500 feet. So just uh, under or over 2300 square feet. And then that will give you an option to add an additional bedroom or an additional full bath. So it comes with that loft space and a half bath and that will be the second floor option. So whether you like the single story or the loft option, you have those options to build here in this community. If you want to see it, give me a call 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications. Like this video and comment below. Hey guys, for now, enjoy the tour. This is your exterior elevation. You can see this has that modern wedge at the top of this home, pavered driveway, pavered walkway. This is model row. So typically they have bushes. There's no bushes. This is great. Eight foot glass door. This is your foyer entryway. Right away you have that window. Love it. You have to have that window there, I would say give you this little natural light also you have that glass front door in this first area right here this is your drop zone valet your upgraded cabinets and shelvings but this is to your garage okay so i like that i wanted to peek over here so it's a two-car garage and then there's enough room for a golf cart over here that's really great so why is that there because this is where you can add your loft if you wanted to. This is the standard floor plan, so there's no stairs there, but the stairs would be right there. And then you can have your additional 500 square foot with a bedroom and a full bath or your loft with a powder bath, all right? So again, you have upgraded cabinets up and down. I love that modern. And then you have your quartz countertops. All right, so before we get into that, open space it's so this is a cool floor plan again in this hallway you have windows rather than a dark hallway leading into the main space you have this corridor lit up with the windows and that eight foot glass door okay nine foot four ceilings here guys great floor plan so you can see you have the wood flooring one of the most expensive things that you're going to spend on is your wood flooring so i'm going to pass that room that's the hvac and let's go into this corridor back here where there are two bedrooms all right this is great so this is your first bedroom good size upgraded with the recessed lights and the built-in speakers you guys think built-in speakers are necessary at this point you basically have all these bluetooth uh, you know sound systems and everything that's your standard closet single window in here you can see the carpets right away we're gonna go straight across wood floors over here and then your other room on this side configured different than that other room so it's not a mirror room really cool Again, you have the recessed lights, speakers, and your single window. Carpets in the bedrooms. Standard would be 18 by 18 tiles. Okay. Standard closet, that single window. Before I move forward, let's open up this linen closet and then your upgraded bath all right so baths are considered wet areas you'd have 18 by 18 tiles you would have two centimeter quartz but this has the upgraded 
everything. So you have 18 by 18 of graded tiles in a straight pattern. One of the biggest trends last year was this Carrera quartz. All those veinings, the veins that give you that really high end looks. You see those in the million dollar models. You have your modern flat front cabinet with your brushed holes, brushed three piece faucet, and then you have your bronze light fixture match those cabinets really really nice I like that all right before I turn over this is really cool so what you're gonna see is this builder gives the standard tiles all the way to the ceiling you have your upgraded rain head shower head that's not a rain head so if you don't you can't get that shower head that would be a good option and then your upgraded of brushed faucets Right away, you'll see these are six, eight doors, nine foot four ceilings. You have the five and a quarter inch baseboards coming through. Again, that's the HVAC. Before I miss this, this is your oversized laundry room. This is nice. This is nice, man. So all these shelvings upgraded. I believe the bottoms are included. But of course, these are upgraded. So it'll be included with the standard cabinets. Again, this has that high end, high end quartz, career quartz. Look at this, like, I don't understand. Why don't they paint that? I mean, come on. Then you have the linen closet, washer and dryer come included. It has the wet sink. I'm sorry, my phone is going off a little bit. Upper cabinets would be at additional cost. Okay, I really love that hallway. It separates this whole space because you can't, you just don't go right into it. And then look at this space, this design. Very warm, very, it has this nice soft feel. You have the brown floors, wood floors, and then you have your brown cabinets. It has that modern touch. There's so many accent features in here. Let's walk around here. Great size island. You have the, the vanity trim around that island. Really luxury feel with this. Okay. You have your pendant lights come included, but these again are upgraded. This has the quartz. You have the upgraded sink, one piece faucet. Look at these cabinets, man. Really cool. So it's not espresso, it's kind of that lighter mocha color. And then the white quartz and then the brown, lighter brown floors, it just offsets it so nicely. And then you have your flat 42 inch cabinets with the crown molding. It really feels like it's bigger because of the style, I'll tell you. And then you have your standard overlay with the microwave and the range but this is an upgrade i'm sure because you can see it has that modern flat doesn't have that the controls on the panels then you have this beautiful designed mosaic backsplash not mosaic uh, patterned i don't even know what to call it they look like lips kissing you with different styles the thing you're going to see is the trim work on the ceiling so this is nine foot four ceilings, but because of that trim work, it's gonna give you that whole elegant feel all the way across. Those are one by twos, one by threes slats, and it just gives you that elegant feel. So from the kitchen, open concept, you'll see this builder, all the builders have different variations of open concepts. This is again, one of the straight where it's the kitchen, dining and then your family room so this is designed very nicely um, open concept but it feels like you have a ton of elbow room again you have these flat panels with the dark handles and then you have the built out 24 inch cabinet with the side panel for that refrigerator so a lot of things coming in here wood floors throughout that's just a huge upgrade a huge huge upgrade very costly all right this is your pantry not a walk-in but good size just enough so 
you don't need to overstock when you go to Costco or Sam's. Okay, formal dining. This is a humongous table. So this is a formal dining. Not likely you're gonna have your kitchen nook here, but you have the window over there, window in the kitchen letting in that natural light. But man, I love this table. You're, you only have a six seater, but definitely you could do eight seater, even 10 seater. <laughs> because over here you have all the space here. But let's take a look at that space back here. This is your family room, okay? So the way they designed it, they offset it with the cream couch, the cream carpet, and then that nice painting on the wall. Over here you have your brick-faced wall. That is a beautiful feature wall. So all this interior design really won't come included in your home. This comes in a model, they pay the models. Uh, they, for the models they give, they hire a, an interior designer and that comes at a big cost basically. You have your triple slider, does not pocket. Typically I open this up before because I've been having so much problems all the time. Does not pocket open nicely for me, thank goodness. All right, so this is your covered lanai. It's a really good space. And look what they did on the side. So they did this wood feature to give you some privacy. You could just put some bushes there, but it gives you that design element as well. But what is this? Fireplace in Florida. I wonder how often you would use that, but it is gorgeous. I would say make it that into a pizza oven. That way it's usable. Rather than, this is more like a design feature where you have your pergola. What do you guys think about pergolas? It's a design feature, but I'm not sure. I would rather have like a, I guess, yeah. It's really nice. What do you think about that? So, we are no rear neighbors. This is not a huge backyard. So this is a very, something to consider. It's a very deep home. Look at this home compared to where that home ends. This is the end of this covered lanai. That's about 20 feet, man. 20 feet for the end of that house. So that's definitely a shallower house and then you have a bigger backyard. Enough to put a pool. But again, this is a... So that's definitely something to consider when you have these, these longer homes. You can see this is really, it has a really deep floor plan. Cause you have the open space, typically you'll have the open space and then rooms, but then you have the rooms in the front. So that's really way, way over there. Let's go to your primary. All right, another thing, you got your six, eight doors. Gotta double check to see if you have to, op uh, if you can upgrade to eight foot doors. You possibly cannot upgrade. So beautiful primary here. I'm going to step back again. Look at that feature wall. Feature wall with the wood trim and then the wood inserts. Just a ton of room in here. You have your seating area over there. A lot of room from here. So this is your king size bed. Two windows in the back here. King size bed with your oversized side tables. Look at that, great space. Oh, I was thinking that was a pocket door. It's actually a regular door. Okay, primary bath, 18 by 18 upgraded tiles in a straight pattern. White, crisp white quartz with your rectangle undermount sinks. Same cabinets as the kitchen. You have that bronze. Light fixture, dual light fixture, that oversized mirror, and then you have the brushed handles. Let's see what's going on. So no shower over, uh, no. No um, tub, which a lot of people never use their tub. Great size shower. You have the tiles going to the ceiling. Again, this is a standard, but these are upgraded tiles, so it will come at additional cost. You have the transom window. 
shampoo niche, and the shower head, the red hand shower head that will come at additional cost. This has the brush framed, water closet, and then your primary closet. All right. There you go. Hey guys, what do you think about this beautiful home? This is a gorgeous one story. Again, you can do one story or two story. This is a model, it's upgraded galore. And this one is the one story version. So that's under 1900 square feet, 1850. It has three bedrooms, two baths, and a two car garage. And it's one story, as you can see, designed as the way you want it. But model homes are really designed beautifully. And then you have the option to have the second floor at about 500 square feet and you'll be just over 2300 square feet and then you'll have the option for the loft with a half bath or the fourth uh, third bed uh, third bedroom <laughs> fourth bedroom and the and the full bath um, so if you want to see that give me a call 407-448-4458 or email me at orlando at gmail.com hey guys thanks for joining me on the tour have an amazing day and i'll see you around the neighborhood